there's a huge red state, blue state divide on this issue. And that is uh, the case for gun laws writ large. And it's also the case about gun laws that apply to schools. There's virtually no federal legislation that deals directly with the school issue. There are some prohibitions on bringing guns to school that are federally uh, mandated. So there's a requirement that students that bring a gun to school can be expelled for a year. But in terms of what the states are doing, it's really a, a mishmash. One of the things that you see conservatives raising a lot is the idea of arming teachers. And one of the things you see blue states looking more at are these so-called uh, red flag laws. Red flag laws uh, basically allow a family member or law enforcement to petition a judge to remove uh, guns from a house. There's about 19 states that have a red flag law on the books. The vast majority of those were approved after the Parkland shooting in 2018. It's a temporary confiscation of the guns. You know, a judge looks at the situation and decides uh, whether or not the person who owns the guns is a risk to themselves or to others. There are a lot of questions about the constitutionality of these laws. And I think opponents would say, look, uh, you have a problem under the Second Amendment here. Politics around guns are one of the most divisive things that we face in the nation. And because of that, whenever there's one of these incidents, including Newtown, right, uh, you wind up with a lot of people arguing that uh, Congress needs to do something or states need to do something. And then there's sort of a pushback. Even when these obvious tragedies happen in schools, um, it doesn't seem like there's a huge groundswell of um, change on the political landscape for gun regulations. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.